Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Embedded.com and I am in Austin, Embedded World North America, showing in Austin, Texas, United States and I am here at the Seco boot with Rodney Feldman, Vice President, Products, Innovation and Marketing at Seco USA. Hi Rodney, thanks a lot. Yeah. Hi Maurizio. How is it going? Pretty good. Welcome to Embedded World in North America. Thank you, thanks a lot. So thanks a lot for this opportunity. So I have a couple of questions to share with you to understand more about uh, Seco products. But before that, uh, please introduce yourself. Tell us more about you, your career, your role into specific at Seco. Yeah, so my, my specific role here at Seco USA is uh, dealing, understanding with customer requirements for their products, technical requirements, business requirements and translating that to SECO solutions, whether it's off the shelf or customized for their particular applications. So uh, my purview is for North America, but you know, as a global company, uh, you know, we deal with our counterparts uh, within Europe as well. Great, thank you. So we are at the Metal World, Austin, Texas. So tell, tell me more about the key technologies, technologies, solutions that SECO is showcasing today. Yeah, absolutely. So Seco has been around for over four decades in the embedded space. Uh, so we've developed over time a lot of expertise with uh, embedded products, you know, starting with processors. We, we uh, participate in standard form factor um, you know, uh, standards such as uh, uh, Q7 and Smart from SGET and also ComExpress, ComHPC from Pikmin. So we're showing our board level solutions here. We also have uh, HMI panel PCs based on those processor technologies that, uh, P that our clients buy and drop onto front of machines and also box computers as well. We tie that all together uh, with CLIA, which is our IoT uh, solution, cloud edge solution that makes it very easy to deploy and ultimately scale to large installations um, you know, based on our SECO products um, just to be able to accelerate IoT infrastructure deployment. We're also bringing AI to the edge. Uh, we have partners that we're working with such as uh, Acceler and Qualcomm uh, just bringing the, the capability of AI to run autonomously on edge devices without the need for the cloud processing. Great, so let, let's start about the uh, CLIA operating uh, system so that you, you mentioned. So CLIA is, a, is an industrial grade uh, Linux embedded operating system that uh, is used for, so with the goal to simplify the development of IoT solutions. So tell me more about what are the key benefits of using uh, uh, CLIA operating system with Seco, Seco's hardware products and uh, mm -hmm. what about uh, the support of processor architectures? Right, so CLIA OS, as, as you said, it's, it's a Linux based, it's based on the Yocto project, but it also integrates the components that you need to really accelerate deployment of IoT. So we have data orchestration component, device management, and, and so we architect CLIA OS with, with all that stuff integrated uh, with some additional value added for um, uh, Exene, which is our partner for uh, real-time security monitoring, and bringing that all together into a BSP that you know, our, our clients, and developers, you don't need to worry about integrating all that IoT plumbing itself. It's just ready for use integrate with your application level software, you can build it and, and get it deployed real rapidly. Great. And talking about uh, security and reliability, so can you explain how CLIA operating uh, systems would enhance so the development, deployment or process, in particular regarding security and uh, reliability? And uh, so looking to the future, what's, uh, what's next from CLIA right. operating system? Yeah, so you know, we bring the security and reliability in at several different levels. So, you know, I already mentioned Xene, that's kind of real-time monitoring of, uh, you know, actual processor application. So, any anomalies as you're actually running uh, your application, that can be captured and, and, and dealt with in real-time. 
uh, other aspects of the security. Um, you know, so for example, we with the device management, remote software updates, of course, all that's based on uh, standard encryption and authentication. Uh, we build into this uh, uh, A-B type partitioning so that as you're loading uh, a software update and, and verifying its auth authenticity, uh, we're, we're not overwriting what's already there and working. So you, know, you, you get the update loaded, you do your verification, then you switch over. Uh, and of course, you know, being Linux-based, you know, we're always um, you know, monitoring for you know, bugs and security holes and things like that, and, and uh, doing patches and releases to you know, accommodate all that. So tell me more about this uh, collaboration, partnership with Qualcomm. Uh, which uh, solutions uh, in particular, with Qualcomm-based products you are uh, using, you are taking advantage for your IoT offering? Yeah, so right now we're, we are um, developing a system on module, smart form factor, that's based on the Qualcomm 6490 processor. Uh, so that's uh, geared towards the IoT market. And you know, so we're developing that, and of course we'll have uh, you know, Linux-based releases as well. Uh, Clia will, will be supporting that as uh, we support all of our other processors. Um, and even looking beyond just the IoT stuff, there's the AI aspect. <clears throat> so, you know, running, you know, the future is basically running large language models autonomously at the edge, not utilizing, uh, you know, cloud connectivity to do that kind of processing. So that's an emerging technology that, uh, you know, we expect to deploy from Qualcomm over time. Thank you. My last question, Rodney, talking about sustainability. How, so, what about in your perspective? So, what uh, uh, what role sustainability would play in uh, Seco products, and uh, what's next in terms of evolving of technology in this uh, fast, very fast uh, industry? So, how do you stay competitive? How do you stay ahead to ensure competitive solutions? Right. So, sustainability. You know, we define that very broadly as, as a company. So, there's you know, there, there's governments, there's you know, the environmental aspects and all that. So, you know, one aspect of, of what we do, of course, we look at all of our design, development, and manufacturing operations, ensure that we have the processes to not only deliver product but to do it, you know, responsibly and, and with energy efficiency and all that. Uh, as far as staying ahead on the technology side, I mean, again, that's kind of built into our DNA as a company. So, you know, we have a chief strategy officer that, you know, kind of overlooks, you know, the, the whole expanse going forward as far as emerging trends, emerging technologies, and emerging customer needs, tying it all together. Mm. Um, and then beyond that, you know, of course, we have a product management group, uh, you know, chief technology officer and our R&D development group. And, you know, we're constantly looking for partners, understanding their technology, evaluating things and, uh, you know, and, and um, formulating those long term relationships so that we can get early access to their technology, do proof of concepts, find lead customers and then course beyond that go to market thank you Rodney thanks a lot uh, have a good day in Austin and see you next yeah thank you very much